Hi, I'm Jeremy, and I've been a collector all my life. When it comes to collecting, I live my life by the three C's. Is it cool? Is it collectible? And is it cheap? So come join me as I look to add more to my collection. Welcome to the hunt. Greetings and salutations everybody, it's I, XLJ, the OG, and welcome back to the hunt. We are here in Cleveland, Ohio, with a bunch of random people just walking I'm by. Walking hey, hey, excuse me, <laughs> excuse me. Yes, we are with family. Sorry, man. <laughs> We're here at Apple Jack's Toys, and right above the Superstore here in Cleveland at the mall. Uh, so we're gonna go check it out, see what they got. Maybe they got some good stuff. Who knows? We're gonna find out. So let's head on in to Apple Jack's Toys. All right, we're gonna head on into Apple Jack's Toys, but first check out this diorama they got out front of the store. I mean, it's got everything in here from wrestling figures, Transformers, GI Joes, E-Man and Masters of the Universe. I mean, everything from my childhood. So this is gonna be a good hunt. You know it. Oh, hey, buddy. You need to borrow my cell so you can phone home. Jay, Jay, I don't believe this. You are amongst a WCW legend. Do you see this? Look, it's Pepe. Holy shit. You found Pepe, bro. Hey, bro. You are a true legend, sir. I know. I'm the greatest. I don't know why I didn't get the two titles. Well, you really should have. In my opinion, you are possibly the greatest thing that happened to WCW Saturday Night. I know. Even the analytics said that more people watched when I was on WCW Saturday Night. So just remember... Go Pepe! And what an honor it was meeting Pepe. Of course, they've got your selection of Funko Pops here at Apple Jack's Toys. And ooh, G.I. Joe. Go Joe. And I love how they have a mix of like the original like retro G.I. Joes I grew up with, as well as the current crop of G.I. Joe figures. And you'll notice that's kind of a trend here at Apple Jack's. Ooh, Dunkin' Toys. That's fun. But like I was saying earlier, you can see they have a mix here at Apple Jacks of like the original retro stuff and they've got this new age kind of retro stuff that's been recreated. It's a pretty unique uh, concept they have here. And come to find out, this is actually one of three locations here in the Cleveland area. This is kind of like a standalone one that they put in here at the mall. Oh, and what's that I spy? Looks like we got some AE dub figures. Are you are you choking your chicken? Don't choke your chicken here, bro. Hey, Spina Gooley would be upset. And I love when stores like this have this packaging for their loose figures. And of course no toy store would be complete without some Star Wars. It's Mancala. Mancala! Uh, Shakala! 20 inch blades. <laughs> but some marbles. 
and a thing. In the Impala. Oh, yo, check this out. They've got 13 Dead End Drive. I was obsessed with this game as a kid, and this is the 25th anniversary edition of it. Oh, to be young again. Oh, and I love seeing this. Some retro trading card packs. Ooh, check this collection out of retro glasses from restaurants back in the day. And ooh, WSW trading cards. Well, there you have it. That was Applejack's Toys here at Tower City. Look, Sienna got some cards. B-roll got a chicken. <laughs> Just don't choke that chicken too much this trip, bro. And Jay. I got the experience of XLJ stealing my joke because I got to watch Brent choke his chicken. <laughs> You're welcome. And hey, it's cool. The owner talked to us. So this is just one of uh, three locations they have here in Cleveland. So this is just kind of like a pop-up shop. So it's kind of cool to see a mix of like a little bit of some authentic retros with like recreated retros and stuff. But there are multiple locations throughout Cleveland. I think he said there's one in Lakewood that's like really popular. All right. Alan told us to come here to the Lakewood location. Here we are at Apple Jack's Toys. We're going to see if we can get some goodies. Oh. I think we have any apples. Here. You're still walking. Why are these people are still following us from the mall? <laughs> yep. I'm walking here. Well, let's go see what Alan's got here at Apple Jack's Toys in Lakewood in Cleveland, Ohio. All right, let's check out Applejack's here in Lakewood, which I guess is the premier location. This is the original. This is where all the magic started, and I can see this is going to be an awesome, awesome shop to check out. Already, they got stuff all over the place that is speaking my language. And wow, they even have more trading cards here at the Lakewood location. I mean, they got, like, maybe the biggest selection of retro trading cards I've seen at one of these shops. Oh, I need that filmation sign. Oh, and here we got another diorama with about every action figure you can think of under the sun. They do a pretty badass job of putting this together, I do say. Wow, check this out. A Disneyland commemorative playset that was exclusive to Sears. And I gotta say, this is one of the better girl toy selections I've ever come across at any of these retro toy shops. Of course, we got some NSYNC shirts back there. Rainbow Brighton Box. What? The Chipmunks? I don't even remember those toys. That's pretty awesome, though. And of course, you know they're gonna have some Hello Kitty here as well. Oh, and now we're really going back. Look at these retro puzzles you put together for kids, man. Oh, and they even got coloring books from the 80s and 90s. Wow. Man, I wish I saved my coloring books. They'd be worth a fortune now. All right, reveal again. Oh. Prince Dad. Oh, yeah. I love my family, man. It's great hearing from Dad Hat, who was at the gathering this weekend in Charlotte, which was pretty successful for him. Now, check this out. Never seen this before. They have a bunch of greeting cards from DC from the 1980s. I've never seen that before. And they're still intact. And, ooh, a Batman Returns sticker album? I used to love these back in the day. You get the stickers from the trading card packs. Man. This place is freaking awesome. Got some Fangoria magazines there with the graphic novels, National Lampoon's magazine. I don't think I ever want to leave Applejack's toys. Oh, look what B-Roll found. A retro WWF toy box from the early 90s. It was missing the lid, but still, it's pretty cool to see. And what's that? We got more board games here at Apple Jacks. Hell, they have a separate room with pretty much just board games in here. And I love this. They've got some old school used board games from my childhood. Like, check out this Ninja Turtles board game, man. I think I'm going to have to start collecting board games.
Now that's a big ass Gumby. Oh, and speaking of nostalgia, check out this poster rack they got here. Ah, oh, man, I can remember going through these things incessantly as a kid. And ooh, check out that Spider Man lamp. And here we got some Marvel figures. Looks like some DCs as well. And here we go. Here's the wrestling section. Uh, mixed in, they got some Rocky figures as well. We've got some AEWs, some WWE Mattels. There's the old school LJNs mixed in with some AWA Remcos. Looks like we got some WSW Galoobs down here. We got some WWF Hasbro figures. Now we're cooking with gas. Oh, once that B-roll found an original Ecto-1 in box from the real Ghostbusters series. And what? They've got original Barnum animal crackers, like, still in box. I would not recommend eating them, though. But that's pretty cool to see, and you know, I love those retro glasses. I don't need a minute alone with her. So, as you know, we go to a lot of toy shops, and all my travels, I have never seen this. And yeah. thankfully, the staff is kind enough to show us what you're about to see. This is very interesting and fascinating to me. Yeah. Uh, there you see, Tug and War Mania. So, we got Stone Ringmaster, oh, Steve Austin, Undertaker, Gold Dust, Ahmed Johnson, Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, Wildman Mark Merrill, and the British Bulldog. That's crazy. I think it's 96, 97? I'd say. 97? Okay. Yeah, what? so it's like... So you pull, and I think the it, it has like two buttons on each side, uh -huh. and you're trying to get your opponent's wrestlers into the pit. Oh! So like that is fascinating. I've yeah. never <laughs> seen anything like that. Little figures of each of those guys. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, okay. it does. It's crazy. You guys want to oh, split it? The back? Oh, or yes. The oh, yeah, there you go. So it's like little car... Okay, I get it now. It's just so interesting to me, the, the selection of wrestlers. Well, there you have it. That was Applejack's Toys here in Lakewood, and Alan was right. He did not disappoint. It was pretty awesome. The mall was pretty cool, too. And hey, I walked out with the Sergeant Slaughter. Attach, huh? See, you, know, you got some stuff, didn't you? Yep, more, some more cards. Some more cards. More cards. And there's this guy who keeps walking by our shot. More cards. Oh, Found yeah. vintage, like... Pokemon movie oh. cards. Like you remember getting it from Burger King? Oh, yeah, yeah, those are the ones. Shout out to B Roll that actually found them. Yeah. And then another Pokemon sticker that I'm going to be sending it to a friend of mine. So. Nice. Yep, another vintage one. Sweet. We love our vintage. Yes. This guy walking. Did you buy anything? I'm walking here. I'm walking here. Oh, B Roll, you got something, didn't you? For my wife. Aww. Something to do, Harry Potter. Billy Amos. Ah. Hey guys. Hey, hey. Did it, did you did you go in the Applejack's toys, guys? Yeah. Was it pretty cool? I found some country classics <laughs> trading cards. <laughs> it's all for the country music stars, huh? Pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, well, if you're in the Cleveland area, we highly encourage you to check out Apple Jack's Toys. It has three locations all throughout Cleveland. Go check it out. They got some awesome stuff. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this hunt. And as always, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, maggot. Oh. We'll see you next time on another episode of The Hunt.